Okay, last part of the video, number three right here. Uh, hopefully I can get them all together for one, but they got some kind of new time on it of 10 minute length, which doesn't make much sense. But right now we're going to pull this one here out. Like I said, it just pulls straight out. It's really quick and, and simple here with the strap. Um, working with quality straps like the rubber on these uh, Planet Oceans is pretty cool. Uh, they just set themselves right in with no problem. Uh, somebody asked about the docks. Well, the docks is going to work the exact same way. Uh, same type of rubber. The curved ends on these, pretty hard. Now, what we're planning on doing here is uh, taking the uh, rubber strap off and then putting the uh, bracelet back on. Now, of course, in the first video, we went and showed that uh, you really need to uh, take this thing apart first before you start doing this. Otherwise, everything's curved and you're working blind. So, we're going to set it in here like this, and as usual, just get one corner in while you're hanging on to it, and then use your thumb for the other side. that one's in. You see how quick that works? Uh, somebody at one point said bionic thumbs. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I've been doing these for quite some time. I don't find the Omegas to be any different than the other ones that I work on. Um, some of them require just a little bit more patience. Uh, sometimes got to take a break. Why are you doing these? Okay. See, that one snapped right back in place. Miracle, isn't it? Didn't put any scratches on it at all. Uh, really not required to. This Bergson tool right here is absolutely perfect for these jobs. Um, I saw somebody else using, like I said, one of those wild looking tools that really don't do you any good whatsoever unless you got curved spring bars. Okay, now we're going to put this one here back together. Um, make sure you got your arrows going right. Don't think it really matters on these, but we'll go ahead and be correct on this one right here. And you'll take your barrel, get it in the center link, like so. I know, not much in the close-ups, guys. Make sure we get everything going the right direction. Okay, now here's your pin. It's got a shear mark on it. Yeah. Go ahead and put the shear mark in first. And go ahead and get it to a point to where it butts up into the barrel. And then we'll go ahead and use this as a little, quick little block. Nylon into the hammer. And start to drive this into the uh, barrel. Let it get down to almost flush done any damage whatsoever and then that's where we're, this other tool works perfect because it has a short end on it you can use the other one just swap the tip out but what we're going to do is put this one in here the base is spring loaded I really like that feature and center it up on the uh, pin and inset it oh I guess about a half millimeter make sure it's even on both sides and it's not. So we'll inset it just a little bit more. Have a look at it. Okay, now we didn't do any damage to this watch whatsoever. Hopefully, I got it back on correct. All right. There. Now there's nothing difficult about this. The only thing that makes it difficult is if you leave the bracelet together and uh, you try and use fancy tools. I, I'm not one for fancy tools. Takes this, takes a pusher, one of these, one of these. You got about 40 bucks in parts. Saves you a lot of money. Uh, you spend a couple extra minutes of time uh, doing